Ted Bundy, one of the most notorious serial killers in American history, led a life marked by charm, deception, and heinous crimes. Born Theodore Robert Bundy on November 24, 1946 in Burlington, Vermont, Bundy's early life appeared ordinary. However, beneath this veneer of normalcy lay a deeply disturbed individual who would go on to commit a series of gruesome crimes. Bundy's life took a dark turn during his teenage years when he discovered the truth about his parentage. You see, he believed that his grandparents were his parents and that his mother was his sister, a revelation that deeply affected him. This emotional turmoil, coupled with a troubled upbringing, may have contributed to his later criminal behavior. Bundy's first known crimes occurred in the 1970s, primarily in Washington, Oregon, Colorado, and Utah. His M.O. typically involved approaching young women with a combination of charm and deception. He often feigned injuries, such as using a fake cast or crutches, to gain their trust. Once he had lured them into his car, he would overpower them and restrain them. What followed was a series of unspeakable horrors. Bundy would sexually assault and murder his victims, sometimes engaging in necrophilia. Afterward, he disposed of their bodies in remote locations, making it nearly impossible for law enforcement to connect the dots. One of Bundy's most infamous crime sprees occurred in Washington State during the 1970s. Between 1974 and 1975, Ted abducted and murdered numerous young women, leaving the region in a state of fear and panic. These crimes followed a disturbing pattern. He targeted attractive, young, and college-aged women, often approaching them in broad daylight. His ability to blend into society and deceive his victims was chilling. Many people who encountered Bundy described him as charismatic, intelligent, and well-mannered, making him all the more dangerous. In 1975, Ted Bundy was arrested for the first time after a routine traffic stop revealed suspicious items in his car, including burglary tools and women's clothing. This arrest led to a search of his apartment, where investigators discovered an array of incriminating evidence, such as photographs and identification cards of his victims. Bundy was subsequently charged with multiple counts of kidnapping, murder, and other crimes. During his trial, Bundy represented himself and displayed his legal acumen. He used his charm and intelligence to manipulate the courtroom and even escape custody twice. His first escape occurred in 1975, when he leaped from a courthouse window and remained on the run for several days. After his capture, he managed to escape from a Colorado prison in 1977 by crawling through a small opening in the ceiling. This escape led to his migration to Florida, where he would commit his final and most gruesome crimes. In Florida, Bundy continued his killing spree, culminating in several murders in the same location. You see, on January 15, 1978, Ted broke into a sorority house at Florida State University, and he brutally attacked four young women, leaving two dead and two severely injured. The brutality of this crime shocked the nation. Bundy's reign of terror came to an end later that year when he was captured by law enforcement. He was arrested for driving a stolen vehicle and initially faced charges relating to the theft. However, as evidence linking him to the sorority murders surfaced, he was eventually charged with these horrible crimes. Bundy's trial in Florida in 1979 was a media sensation, further fueled by his charismatic and unpredictable behavior in the courtroom. Despite his attempt to defend himself, he was found guilty of those murders and sentenced to death. In the years that followed, Bundy's demeanor began to change. He started to provide confessions and information about his crimes to various law enforcement agencies. He hinted at the existence of additional victims, but he was often evasive about the details. Some have speculated that he hoped to delay his execution through cooperation. On January 24, 1989, Theodore Bundy was executed in the electric chair at Florida State Prison bringing an end to a dark chapter in American criminal history. Bundy's crimes and ability to elude capture for an extended period of time left a lasting impact on the public's perception of serial killers and the criminal justice system. His wasted life serves as a chilling reminder of the capacity for evil that could hide behind even a charming facade. And his case continues to be a subject of fascination for those who seek to understand the mind of a serial killer.